What's happening guys, welcome back to another video. Today it's just going to be a really quick one on freelancing. A lot of you guys have asked me, it's something I do quite often at weddings and stuff like that to create interesting effects. But freelancing basically is just dismounting your lens, tilting it around to get certain things in focus and control the depth of field. So like I said, it's literally just dismounting the lens and then you're just tilting the camera like so up and down around however you want to do it to get the desired effect so the first thing you need to understand is depth of field when you're talking about depth of field you're talking about a plane of focus if you have a look at this piece of paper that is our plane of focus so everything on this plane is in focus now what happens is when you tilt the lens the plane of focus tilts the same way so if you have a look at these photos of the two toys the t-rex and hulk here usually you can only get one in focus or the other because they're not in that same plane they're not in that same area of focus so what free lensing allows you to do is just change that plane of focus so instead of being like that you can tilt it and get things you know for and behind and focus but basically everything you know if you're at f1.4 and you focus on this piece of paper everything before it and everything after it is going to be out of focus so like i said again we're just tilting the plane of focus to change it to how we want to do it now with lenses anything will work pretty much but it's easier between kind of 35 to 85 mil in that range is uh, seems to be the easiest range to work in i do it wide open at 1.4 or whichever lens you're using do it wide open change the focus distance all the way to infinity so the furthest focus distance you have now without turning the camera off dismount the lens and your aperture and focus will be stuck in that in that area so now we can go ahead and start free lensing now one of the biggest tips that i had from my friend jared they are amazing photographers their company is called swift and click if you want to link them i'll put a link in the description below you can check out their work he does free lensing all the time but originally what i was doing when i first was free lensing was i dismount the lens and then you know i'd be holding the camera and turning the the lens of the, the body of the lens to get the effect i want now it's a really minor change but it really makes it easier so all you do all i learned and all jared told me to do was instead hold the lens steady and turn the camera body so you get a little bit more control your composition isn't changing because you're not moving the lens you're just changing the plane of focus by moving the sensor around so i put t-rex and hulk outside and we're going to take a couple of photos of it so like i said before you can either get one or the other in focus it's just science you can't get both in focus when your plane of focus is flat so now all we're going to do is dismount the lens turn it a little bit and you can see that they're just going to come into focus and then you can snap the photo so really it's probably easier to be in burst mode so you can take three or four just to get it really accurate it can be a little bit tricky when you first start out but as you can see now that we've changed the plane of focus you can get both subjects so it can be really interesting if you have like a bride and groom one of them's sort of off in the distance a little bit and maybe the, you're doing the first look photo and one i've got to do this actually one of them is further off in the distance and the other one's walking up you can just tilt your plane of focus and get both of them sharp with the sides blurry so it's a really interesting effect it does take a little bit of time so it's not something you're probably going to want to do if you you know it's critical that you get the subjects in focus you need to be able to set it up and just have some time to play and then eventually you can just do it on the run so really fun concept really fun thing to do and that tip for me like i said just changed it with moving the body instead of the lens so that's it guys really quick video today i'm planning on buying another camera and another lens tomorrow maybe today i don't know but uh, i'm not going to tell you guys what it is i'm going to go and do that and then i'll show you what i've bought so watch out for that guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video